Hey, what's happening guys? Take a look at this sexy little device. This is the MDP-L1060 DC electronic load from Miniware. You guys know Miniware? They make all kinds of cool little uh, miniature stuff. A couple years ago we did a video on their uh, little miniature power supply system. Well, this is their DC electronic load, and what is super cool, other than the fact that it's absolutely petite, is it is battery powered as well. All right, let's start off by talking about size. So we're looking about 100 millimeters on the X, 65 on the Y, And about 35 on the Z. And it's a heavy little bugger. This is uh, aluminum, I believe. If you look in there, you can see uh, two small fans. Let me add some more light to the subject. There we go. You can see the two small fans in there. And looking through the back, there's a huge copper heat sink. It looks... Yeah, I mean, it looks to me like it is at least halfway into there yeah so it looks like this uh you know we're talking probably about 60 to 70 percent of this is heat sink which is really nice uh, dc 5 volt 2 amp input USB C. over here we have uh, four millimeter gold plated banana jacks and this is a little feedback uh circuit path thingy there and somewhere here it is comes with this little mini xt30 connector and uh if in certain situations uh with higher voltages you can run a feedback loop so that it doesn't lose track of the voltage loss over you know long cables and whatnot so let's talk some more about the specs in this guy we can get them right here out of the manual so, uh, 650 milliamp internal USB-C battery, maximum load input voltage is 60 volts. 60 volts, 10 amp, uh, up to 100 watts. It has over voltage protection, over current, over power, over temperature, under voltage, and anti-reverse. So, if you hook it up backwards, she won't go boom. So, our working modes, we have constant current. 15 milliamps to 10 amps with a resolution of 1 milliamp. Constant voltage, 0.1 volt to 60 volts with a resolution of 10 millivolts. Uh, constant resistance, which is great for testing batteries, 10 mil milliohms to 4 kiloohms uh, with a 10 milliohm resolution. And finally, constant power from 3 milliwatts to 100 watts, uh, 10 milliwatts resolution really nice it also comes with a set of wires here these are they feel like they might be silicone gold-plated uh, connectors to match the gold-plated banana plugs very nice and uh, copper coated on the ends so our controls here, we have three buttons, set menu and run lock, and we have an encoder wheel over here. So to turn it on, we press and hold set and menu at the same time. I won't tell you how long it told me to figure that out. I actually had to go into the manual. I know. Where do I turn in my man card, right? <laughs> okay, so here we have uh, voltage, resistant, I'm sorry, current, resistance, voltage. We have a set here, we can set voltage. We can set uh, resistance, power even, oh, okay. And we can set, right now that is on, uh, I don't know how well you guys can see that in there, 1.1 amp. I can turn it down like this. We can set it down to say 500 milliamps. I think if I hold this button, yeah, it goes much faster. So there we turn it down to just about half an amp
and you can see there with a little, I don't know if you can see it there, a little CC up there. That's telling us we're in constant current mode. So I'll tell you what, let's hook this up to my power supply. Always hook up the grounds first. So the power supply is set up over here. Let's uh, we got here six volts, three hundred milliamps. And we want nineteen volts, nine nine volts, and we'll we'll just change the current output here. Max that out. Okay, so that's maxed out at nine volts. 5 amps. I'm going to enable the output on there. And now what I have to do is just hit the I think it timed out. Yeah. It remembered where it was. Good. Now I've hit the run lock. And so now we are on. It is reading 8.862 volts. It is holding the current at right about uh, 500 milliamps. I know it's hard for you guys to see. And we are pulling uh, four point, about four and a half watts. Four, this is reading 4.423 watts. And the power supply, you know, 4.491. So they're very close. Can we adjust the current while it is running? Yes, look at that. See that little window that just turned white there? So if I take this up to, you know, three quarters of an amp. There we go. Three quarters of an amp. Let me set it right there. Look, I'm going to bring this right up to the camera. Those fans are almost completely silent. Of course, if they're making a noise above uh, 10 kilohertz, I can't hear it anyway, so they might be screaming. But I don't see any uh, action out of Dogly, so. <laughs> and then turn it off again, we can go like that. This is so cool. All right, we talked about that uh, port on the side with the XT30. And there it is. It says, when remote compensation, when the device consumes a large current, but it doesn't say what that current should be, there will be a voltage drop on the connection cables between the device under test and itself. Please connect the XT30 remote compensation port for voltage compensation. There you go. So they just want you to connect it up to the dot using uh, twisted cables. No problem. All right, so here we are again. Let me turn this bright light out. There, that might make it a little bit easier for us to see what I'm doing. So we just tested the power supply there in uh, constant current mode. Now I can press set, and if you watch that little CC up there on the top, it is now at constant voltage. So it is set for 3.3 volts. Let's say I set it for six volts. and engage over current protection look at that back to normal goes right into over current protection very nice all right let's uh this is constant resistance of one ohm i think it's over power so i'll show you in a second where we set those constant power of 5 watts and that one will run no problem so to change those parameters we should be able to come in here and hit the menu button input voltage okay input voltage one of three battery there we go ID now we can go through those okay now if I hold menu 
There we go. There's our overcurrent protection. Ah, the wrong button. Our overcurrent protection. <laughs> How did I do this? How do I switch between pages? There we go. Over it's it's with the encoder wheel. Over voltage. Over current, over voltage, over power, under volt. Then there's our TX and RX. This will connect with the other miniware things. Program the load. Sound adjust. And that's it. Very cool. So the most common question I'm always asked when I review a uh, piece of test gear is, what do you do with it? Well, the constant uh, DC electronic load is useful for testing out just about any kinds of circuits to find out how they're going to perform under a load. So, for instance, the astute among you will recognize a full bridge rectifier with a smoothing capacitor, voltage regulator, and a switch to switch the output from the voltage regulator to our power rails, and then a 1,000 microfarad reservoir capacitor here. So basically, this is just a little DC power supply. We put out around 8 volts. Let me uh, prepare. So I'm going to feed into the input section of this here. Uh, 15 volt AC sine wave at 60 hertz. And on the output of it, we're going to put our DC electronic load. Do you want to power up here? And we're going to see how much current it can handle. Let's start off with 100 milliamps. All right. Energize the power supply. There we go. And go. So look at that. It ain't worth a work. Wait, it is not working worth a crap. See that? Let me make sure that this is doing what I'm expecting it to do. All right, I just hooked up a voltmeter on the output there. So we're getting 7.37 volts out. So it's a little low. I mean, it's an 8-volt regulator. It should be putting out 8 volts. What the heck is going on here? I wonder if this is what they're talking about with the... Um, the XT60. Huh. Well, I guess I'll have to put some wires on it and find out. Of course, it could just be something's bad here, but... Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. But that is one of the things that we use this for. Okay, let's try this. Let's go constant resistance of 1 ohm. Yeah, under voltage again. Where did I set that under voltage? Hang on. Well, that just goes to show you how useful an electronic load can be. There's obviously something wrong with this design, and until I figure it out, you know, it's not ready for public consumption. But this little guy, I tell you what, I'm a huge, huge fan of this. Well, there you go. You can see it working one of its other modes. It is now currently in the uh, constant resistance mode. I'm feeding it 9 volts at, uh, it's taken 0.68 amps for about 6.0 watts, which looks about what we're getting on here. You can see the red light LED that tells us we're working, and you can see the little uh, temperature indicator up there that says 
30 degrees C. And you can see right below it says set 13 ohms. Let's uh let's adjust that and see what we can do here. So I'm just, I can do it while it's moving, but I'm gonna turn it off. Let's uh 20 ohms, 30 ohms, can we go up to 100 ohms? Should. There we go. Take it up to 100. 100. 100 ohms. Run that, baby. There we go. So at 100 ohms, no problem. Yeah. I got to tell you guys, I like this. This is so cool. And the fact that it is battery operated makes it even cooler. Miniware, thank you for sending this out to me. This is a... Uh, this is going to get a permanent place on my bench. And if you guys have never bought anything from uh, Miniware before, and we'll shut this down. Their packaging is exquisite. Look at that. Whoops. Oh, he's hitting the camera, Paul. Come on. Can't beat that. You can drop shit on that. Still good. I like it. So once again, thank you, Miniware, for sending this out free of charge for our consideration. I'm considering it. I like it. I can recommend it to you guys. This is pretty cool. So I will put a link down below where you can get one of these. And are you ready for the price? This thing is coming in today, which is uh, first October 3rd or 4th. I'm not sure which day it is. It's Tuesday, so whichever day that is. Um, $69. $69. Go buy one today. That's it. I'm out. Peace.